Yo, what is going on you guys? So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cars video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I see to be the biggest threat to sports card prices in 2023. Whether what I truly believe to be a boomer bust year uh, for the future of the sports card hobby, just because of the sheer amount of changes that are going to be going on this year, mainly with fanatics, but also with a couple of other things that I wanted to talk about. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into probably the most obvious threat. Um, I'm going to be mentioning a couple threats, but the most obvious threat, of course, with Fanatics coming in with a new company in charge of printing cards, um, the biggest threat is going to be overprinting. Um, of course, we are in a time right now where the market cannot handle so much supply. Um, we're in a time where demand is quite low. Um, of course, we are in an overall economical time that is quite tough a lot of prices across the board are going down between crypto stocks um real estate whatever it is that you want to look at we are in whatever you want to call a recession or not um but we are in an ec economic downturn and during times like these sports card demand is probably not going to be the hottest it's going to be right and so if you are printing too much during this time i believe it could be detrimental to the short-term prices of a lot of these cards. Um, I do think in the long-term, Fanatics is going to bring in a lot more people than they could ever print cards. Um, so I do think in the long-term, it's definitely going to pan out. I do worry a bit about the short-term in 2023, what's going to happen. Um, because if Fanatics does print too much, if Tops does print too much, if these new products that are releasing do make too many cards and there's not as many buyers, we could see prices really take a hit. I think we've already started to see a lot of prices come down. Um, but I do think it could be a big change that I don't know if many people are ready to see. Um, now, another big thing is going to be grading because I do know that there is going to be a lot of innov innovation around the sports card hobby. Um, of course, grading, I believe, is going to at some point be more of a computerized system. Um, I do not believe that the current grading companies we see are going to be the grading companies that are on top in the next 10 to 20 years. Um, if you're looking at a long-term perspective, I personally believe it's going to be more of a consistent manner. I think there's way too much money, way too much at stake for somebody to be able to determine a BGS 8 or a BGS 9.5 or a PSA 9 or a PSA 10, especially when, you know, the market becomes a lot more, I would say with Fanatics, stuff is going to be done a lot more organically, I would say in an organizational manner, um, organically was not the right word, but yeah, more of an organizational manner. I think, you know, th this is a big business that is much bigger than the sports card market has ever seen, than sports cards have ever seen. Sports cards are a little bubble right here, and Fanatics is huge. And so when they come in, I think a lot of stuff is going to be changed. Um, you know, and I think everyone knows that. And I think grading is going to be something that does get changed. I do not believe we are going to see a manual grading system in the future. And so, if you are buying cards of PSA and BGS, you have to kind of ask yourself, where do I see not only the card, not only the player, not only, you know, the significance in the long term, but the grading company. I think that's something I'm looking at. I personally am still a believer that a lot of these are going to hold up great value just because the condition of the cards is still going to be a, you know, if you buy a PSA 10 card, you're still buying a card that's in incredible condition. Um, and so if you ever need to send it to a new grading service, chances are you should be good. Um, but one thing I would avoid you guys, I would try to tell you guys to avoid is buying cards that are slabbed a PSA 10. But if you look at the card, it has clear flaws or it does not look like a PSA 10 card. I think something I'm doing right now is when I'm buying a card, say if it's a PSA 10, I'm not just buying it as a PSA 10, but I'm looking at that card a little bit more. Um, with PSA, I feel a little bit more comfortable, but with grading companies like SGC, um, even BGS, I'm a little bit more skeptical. Where are the values going to be in the future with BGS slabs and SGC slabs? If SGC is no longer a respected top three sports card grading company, um, now I want to be buying SGC 10s that are in a very great condition so that if I ever need to crack it and send to a new grading company, the card is in great condition. Um, so I'm looking at condition a lot more because I do see a future where we see a digital grading system and, you know, a lot of these different companies maybe do not last. Um, and so that's my personal belief. Of course, everyone has their own belief. People still love BGS slabs. People still love PSA slabs. And I believe that will be the case. 
but I do, I'm preparing myself in case that is something that happens. Um, so I think these are a couple of big threats that I'm looking after. Um, you know, of course, overprinting is definitely probably up there for me as one of the biggest threats where I'm like, if they go the wrong way with this, we could see prices really tumble in the short term. But at the same time, you know, you see Fanatics already hiring executives from top companies around the globe and i think we're just going to be in a time where a lot more people are entering the hobby than ever um i just really hope and pray that the economy really starts to follow the right trends um and if the economy does start to recover i think it's going to be an incredible next two years for the sports card hobby with more people getting in and more people spending money um but i do see these two main threats um kind of standing in the way and you know just po just posing as opposition for where we want sports card prices to go but i really want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below because of course i am only one opinion all of you guys have your own opinions no one has the crystal ball so let me know let me know in the comment section below what you guys think other than that i really hope you all enjoyed and i'm out peace